Okay, so this question says Mini Microphones accepts a $25,000, 7% interest, 90 day note in payment of a past due account on June 1st. Okay, so essentially we are going to turn their existing accounts receivable into a note receivable. The note, uh, with the note, we will get to start collecting interest and then we will have a due date attached to that as well. Typically, also, notes are have a stronger legal um, bearing since they have a due date interest formally usually in writing. So in this case we're just going to go ahead and debit notes receivable because we are going to record the note. Notes receivable is an asset. Assets increase with debits so my asset notes receivable is going to go up 25,000 and in exchange I'm going to get rid of their accounts receivable. So I'm going to take out of my accounts receivable asset by crediting it 25,000. And I'm going to move that into a more formal um, instrument called a note receivable for $25,000. Now this is a 90 day note. We're asked to calculate the maturity date. So when you're calculating the due date, we always omit the issue date and include the due date. So we have to think, there's a 90 day note, how many days are in June? So there happened to be 30 days in June, but this note was issued on the 1st. So that means 30 minus one, because we don't include the issue date, would be 29. And then there are 31 days in July. And then let's see, 29 plus 31 would be 60. So that would be 30 days in August. So the due date would actually be August 30th, which I think is what probably goes in here, August 30th. And then it says the note is paid at maturity. Record the journal entry. Okay, well that's pretty nice that, we did, that we're not closing our, our, doing our closing entries anywhere in between. So we need to calculate how much interest is going to be on that note. Well to calculate interest on a note you always take the face value of the note, in this case 25,000, multiply it times the rate which will be 0 0.07 and then we multiply that times the length of time. This is a 90 day note. Now um, often we will multiply or divide that by 360 because that interest rate is an annual rate. So we're going to figure out how long, how what percentage of the year do they have to pay that, that 7% interest. And we use this 360, not 365, because it's called the banker's rule. I think it was probably put in place long before we had computers and calculators to make it a lot easier to calculate interest. So first thing you want to do, take your 90 divided by 360. This is our order of operations. So we'll calculate that amount. So if we do that, we get 0.25, multiply that times 0 0.07, and then we can multiply that times 25,000. And if we do that, we get 437.50. That's gonna be the amount of interest that the um, person is gonna pay us on that note receivable. So they're gonna pay it off. When they pay it off, we're gonna receive cash we're not sure how much just yet. We will have earned some interest revenue, which is at 437.50. And we can go ahead and credit that note receivable. That's going to get it off our books, show that it's been paid off. Remember before we debited it, so we made it go up. Now we are going to credit it for the $25,000 that will make our notes receivable go down. Those two will cancel each other out like it never happened. And then we add the 47, I'm sorry, 403, four, $437.50 plus the 25,000 gives us 25,000 437.50. That's my debit to cash, that's it.